Well, uh, there's your Tinker TP. Win Ranger gonna be the one getting initiated on the raw comes out. Void goes in here. The Beastmaster, the first target here. Finger of Death, not enough damage to kill the Wind Ranger off the bat. Wind Ranger goes down to the Requiem. One for one trade until the Tinker gets a second on the Lion. Tinker doing some good march damage as well. He wants some more. Has the bottle charge and. Uh oh. Fisher gonna go through here. Catches one. Bristleback got the Void on the side. This series, I would say. Yeah. Let's see how it works out. The one with, with the Lina worked out really well, I have to say. Oh, mid lane, mid fight brings down Chronosphere, gonna lead things off, brings down the Earthshaker as Void now looking to scurry away to the side here, it's Bristleback running in, as next he picked up his Yules just yet, Venture Spirit taking all kinds of slows here, and fighting into the Martin Machine is not the easiest thing to do, but Bristleback tanky enough, Shackle not gonna land as well, and the power shot slightly off the mark here, so... Missing a few key spells here. Beastmaster blinks with the roll. Here's your Requiem of Souls. Yabba Yao gets a second kill for his team in this team fight. And it's the Wind Ranger going down this time. Radiant this D-Ward's going to happen as Void actually goes in. There's a real scepter, I guess. Phoenix, though, not going to be kept alive. It's a buyback from your Wind Ranger here. Tinker forced to blink back defensively. Skyrath posturing aggressively, but can't really chase too much further here. So the Wind Ranger. But they got a four stuff on the Tinker this game. Interesting. Hmm. Good against the raw though, I have to say. Yeah. Get the tier one tower. Now they need to get out here. Bruce back TP's in. Yule Scepter on your Wind Ranger. Earthshaker, no fissure just yet. Gets silenced up as well. Skyroth gonna be brought down by the right click. Shackle doesn't actually latch again. SF just gonna BKB focused on the T1 tower, it looked like. Machine's kind of deterring. So, so, so that was that was clearly the pan used for the SF. Yeah, I guess so. Uh-oh, Fox man. Not a neighborhood you want to be in. Blinks away from the shackle. Nicely played there. No chronosphere still available. And please don't judge the quill damage. There's your impale. Oh boy, the damage output's insane. The raw comes in. Here's your raises. It's another kill going their way. Make it five. Team wipe coming out of RRQ as they bring down the vengeful spirit to put an exclamation mark on that team fight. And well, into Night by Phoenix. And yep, we'll do so. No blink just yet, and oh, that's sad. He almost had the blink. Raw actually comes out. Phoenix is going to be kept alive. The swap out, and oh, the Skyrath ultimate will finish him all off. Please don't judge. Marching forward gets hit by the Ancient Seal. Yeah, but yeah, a bit low mana here. The Shackle going to latch him in place, but he's got the Aegis of the Immortal, so we'll be kept alive for the time oh. being. Earthshaker walking in that march. That is some aggressive play from Triple X, and looks like Ace is just going to get... Feels like a... I feel there's a slight preference towards the SM wife. Mid lane Fox is going to get caught out. There's your Tinker. The Chronosphere comes a little bit too late. They'll get the Lion, or will they? Void taking heavy damage here in Lion. Surviving for now. The Power Shot will finish him off. SF goes for the Requiem, gets swapped forward. We'll still get the Requiem off, but not getting any kills off of it. He's lost two teammates. One or two more right clicks will be enough to bring down the Skyrath. We'll get slowed though, and he's got no more agents. He gets shackled under the tower. That's going to be a dead SF. The Dying Requiem doesn't even bring down the Skyrath, who survives on minimal HP, but at least survives and will lose the Venge in the meantime, but a fantastic fight for Aces. Uh, I, I think I think BKB is a yeah. must this game. I think like something. a Sajin Yasha into BKB would have made sense. He's got the Halberd now, probably goes for the BKB next, I imagine, but still. Yeah, I, I think you have to get BKB already because he went for you, so cannot delay it much longer. Use up the void Here we to go, use. Off, but the counter game comes. Earthshaker silenced up, brought down and pushed back. He's got no teammates. Oh, Ara Q. One, one man yeah. army. Yeah. <laughs> Bristleback actually going to win this fight. Okay. That Yule's movement speed with the Warpath. He's going to take a Mystic Flare and oh, almost gets a second kill. Here comes the backup though. They'll get the kill for him. Beastmaster has a raw available. Can he get the Tinker? Tinker goes to the high ground here. Axe is going to chop down some trees. Have they got vision? You betcha. It's a dead Tinker, and that is four dead. Bristleback bought enough time for the cavalry to... Possible items, Satanic or AC. But Butterfly seems like the best yeah, for the Shadow. It seems Huge like the gang. most stable here. The smoke can get revealed here. No Hawk up here. Beastmaster gets silenced. Doesn't get off anything except the Necro 3 here. Chronosphere comes out with a Shackle Shot as well. Slight overkill potentially. SF gonna drop the Requiem here. Venge! Gets pushed into it and will die. SF now marching forward. There's your duels from your Bristle back. Will help set up an easy kill onto your Skyrath Mage. Bristle still chasing, has almost 500 movement speed. And uh oh, Wind Ranger in trouble. Brought down by the Razors. As they get three kills in return for their Beastmaster and Earthshaker. Get a few who's up on. Looks like they're going to defend top and not go for any kind of big place here. Blink available. Earthshaker goes in with the Echo Slam. Toad to follow the Fisher. Who's the TP in? Can they bring down Misa in time? No, they can't. Gets the Chronosphere off, kills the Earthshaker, will get out to follow. 
Slight miscommunication there, perhaps, as far as the TP backup is concerned. And Bristleback, sure he's on the chase. He's got BK. He doesn't BKB. Oh, that's stunned from the side out of Yule. fog. That Yule's ain't going to save you this time. If he BKB dodged that magic missile, it would have been some insane. Much damage. And with the use, he can set up for his team. So uh, I'm not sure if they can ignore him. It's difficult. Well, they swap it in. Hex the Shadow Fiend. They even going to drop a Chronosphere. They're going to entirely blow him up from full to nothing. Next thing, do go into the Bristleback for a little bit here. He BKBs, and that's going to be enough. Lion goes down as well. It's a two for nothing for now. In goes. Oh, you avoid that Beastmaster. He gets hexed up as well. The Raw not going to be able to do too much. They've lost three just for a Skywrath Mage. Ira Q getting punished here. Another Hex available in a second here. They're going to look to bring down the Bristleback. I don't know if they can do it twice. Tinker out of mana. Looks like the play is going to be to at least TP Tinker home so he can refresh. They're going to try to bring down the Bristleback again. Tinker should be TPing in shortly. Can he do so? Losing creeps here. There we go. The TP coming now. And Maxi loses the creep there. So, okay. They can kill the SF. And he about... needs to run. Yeah, run up the ramp, scout the surroundings, and avoid the same thing happening. It does feel like they could benefit a lot from something like an AC or something just for the uh, aura and all that. But. Here we go to the high ground. We go. There's your hex on you. The wind ranger followed by a roll. The Chronos Fit comes out just the Beastmaster. Actually, also catches out the Earthshaker behind him. And SF blink fast BKB. Oh, that right click from your Bristleback doing a hefty chunk of damage here. Tinker needs to rejuvenate and come back here. But right now, Rax under siege here. There is a clip available. Tinker goes in with the hex. It's on the please don't judge. And uh oh. Well, it's going to go six feet under where someone may be judging him there. Tinker. Needs to be coming back in the fray here. SF gets hexed up once more out of mana for a, a, a refresh here. And Tinker needs to get back to the wall to heal himself back up. SF still man fighting himself up. Has the Satanic, but looks like the use was already gone through here. Skyrath now the next target. Hex comes in from the Tinker. One last go. Can he get back in? Needs another Hex on the SF. SF is further behind there. Tinker, one more Rockets. SF is going to get hexed up here. No spells left. He gets it with the right click. He even gets the kill on the line. It's a team wipe here. They lose the melee racks, but Tinker with some nice plays there in the end. A bit like mid lane to getting caught out here. If he gets caught, oh, he puts oh. forward. He forced up to the high ground. Oh my gosh, he's playing with fire. He gets hexed up, but he gets back to his team. They're going to bring down the bristle back. Oh my gosh, that was so close to just being the game instantly lost off of that. Instead, they're going to turn it around, get the kill the bristle back. It looks like they'll get the Beastmaster as well. Yes, they do with the laser. I think it's Dagon 5 giving us some serious oomph with the Aegis this time. I, I like this a bit better than the Bristleback Aegis we've been seeing. It feels like SF is a big one. Blink, Echo Slam, the nice swap out the Void. Now gonna look to turn things around. Chronosphere on three. Big problems here. SF just gonna throw the Requiem for the minus damage or but they've already lost the Earthshake and lose Beastmaster and Bristleback as well. The right clicks from the Wind Ranger will pay for it with his life. It's a three for two so far. Buyback from your Earthshake and Misa in some trouble here. Time walk out. He gets out of there. The SF has Aegis here, so they don't want to overcommit to this one. And boy, we'll get out once. Here's going to be a kill on your... Uh, SF goes down. Tinker needs to escape. Four stuff to the higher ground. He may even go back in. He has a Dagon 5. Hex available as well. Lion is low, lurking around, ready for a, hey. a Hex or Impale on Tinker. They already won though, so don't need to take any risks. Yep. They got Earth Aegis Tinker two, two for Used the buyback in that fight too. And then for the most part, being constantly and the thwarted. The the entrance of the red cave is very, very good now. Yep. Oh Stop my god. The red and the mouse. Echo Slam from a blink. The raw is going to come out as well, I believe. Yep, they're going on Misa. They're going to bring him down just barely. Tinker shows up and you see the TP out from your sky. That Skyrath and Earthshaker were practically shaking hands in that trees. You got nothing done in that 5v4 scenario. They got like one or two right kicks on the tower. That's fine. Oh, bling up from the bench. He gets the swap back. Bristleback has been caught out. He's got a BKB here. Where's that void? He's going to go past here. Doesn't use the credits for immediately. Use it on the SF, but he's not killing the SF. Someone's going to deal with the Bristleback. Where's that Tinker? We need the lockdown, and this has not been the best fight for aces. They kind of wasted the currency in the backgrounds there. Nice shackle, just going to catch the Beastmaster, though. Tinker needs to start dealing some damage. He needs to rearm. Going to TP himself home instead. No disable to cancel that one. The Void is dead, though, on the silence. Skyrath going to go Scepter up. Four Staff in one stick. Four Staff, but he's still too slow to get out of this one. Tinker shows up with the heck. Skyrath gets brought down in the end. Void shows up once more. No Chronosphere, though. SF pops the Satanic, heals himself back up. Windranger needs to buy back. Will do so. Void getting low. 
Rogue just died back as well. Tinker now. He's got lives. He needs to start using them and getting some kills off of this. Bristleback in the buyback. It looks like it's all in from RQ. They want to win this game. SF going to go down. That's 100 seconds on the sidelines unless he wants to buy back and buy back. He will. RQ chewing through three buybacks here. And doesn't oh, he killed like the creep. The winner on a clip, the oh, creep. Oh, is that the SFTP? Oh my. Bristleback has to be so careful here. If Tinker comes back with a hex, he's in trouble. And there it is. There's a hex. The focus fire as well. The magic missile. Can they bring down the Bristleback? The roar comes up just in time, perhaps. No. Die back from your Bristleback. Two minutes on the sideline. XOT gets shackled up. And uh-oh. This is looking really bad for RRQ. It's a die back on Beastmaster as well. Phoenix trying to get one last kill. Can he get the win range? He gets the finger of death. He won't get anyone though. Oh no. He wanted that Wind Ranger. If he got the Wind Ranger there, it would have maybe salvaged things a little bit, but absolute S. Okay, they've got good physical damage. They've got they've got more than enough here. Urshik is gonna have to go and look to make a play here. The fish are gonna start things off. There's your line and pale. Stalling things up pretty decently, and it looks like with 18 seconds left, they will lose by time for the respawn here. Tinker blows her. up the lion. Oh my, they're just losing too many heroes. They may be buying time for the respawns, but at what cost? They have focus fire up soon. Five seconds again for the for the throne. Here we go, Beastmaster and Bristol coming back online. SF goes in. Requiem gonna get cancelled. Beastmaster goes in with the raw. Gadget can't bring down the Wind Ranger. That is a dieback here. Yabba Yabba, the SF needs to Satanic, but he's being chained to Sable. He won't get a chance to use it. Oh no, they'll lose the Tinker, it looks like, but he's got 28. Count him and count him good. Bloodstone charges. He don't care. Insta respawn from your Tinker. He's coming back and he's got another buyback if he needs to use it. Still has a good chunk of Bloodstone charges as well. They're losing everyone here. It's going to be GG, it looks like here. Please don't judge. Says, please don't kill me. Looks like they'll oblige. They're going to go for the throne in says, instead. And, well, even killing off the Bristleback's effigy here as Ace is going to take game three, it looks like here. Bristleback just getting ignored. He gets hexed up. They focus the throne. No one's respawning anytime soon. Four staff across. And it's GG. RRQ get two ones here. A very close series. I got to say, Winter, that was a hell of a game. Three. Uh, the comeback was real. We didn't get to see the refresher on the void, but the Tinker alone was already too much for them to deal with. Just, I just think they needed more sustain though in the fights if they have uh, the proper item builds and 